Hi there. My name is Emma, and this is the longest I have gone without making a video ever. That wasn't choreographed. I know. It looked like it was, but it definitely wasn't. It was all improv. So hey guys, I have been sick recently. Yeah, it's been real great. You can probably tell from my beautiful Kathleen Turner S voice. But yes, I am sick. And I've been watching a lot of Ally McBeal. It's my favorite television show from the 90s. I also love Felicity, but I really love Ally McBeal. I watch it every time I feel bad. If you haven't seen it, watch it. There's a dancing baby in it, and it's amazing. Anyway, so I wanted to do a super booktube video because I have some things um, to talk about. And if February's ending, thank Jesus, up in heaven. So, yes. Alright, let's get started. This will be comprised of three parts. One part is what I read in February. The next part is what I plan to read in March. And then there's the tiny little book haul for February. So this is gonna be fun! I need to stop talking like that. Why do I talk like that? It's not funny or entertaining to anyone but you. Well, that's the way you should do your life, Emma. Why am I talking like this? This is brought to you by allergy medication. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, if you're like, unsubscribe. Okay, so am I even in focus? Is anybody in focus? Are we all out of focus humans living our lives in an in focus, out of focus world? Hashtag relatable, hashtag deep. Alright, so the first book I read this month was Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. This book was epic. Epic in its themes, epic in its ideas, epic in its scope. That was the word I was looking for. It is about a woman named Ifemelu, who, hopefully I'm saying that right, who um, moves from Nigeria to America to study in about a period for like 15 or so years of her assimilating herself to America and her culture and also sort of um, parallels um, her story with her first love, mm -hmm. Abinze, and um, yeah, and it was very interesting. For me, it was a 3.54 book, um, meaning that I, I listened to an audiobook first of all, which I really enjoyed because the narrator was amazing. But for me, it was a book that definitely revealed a lot to me about how race works in America, more so than I would have ever known. Um, or would have known right now, and it was incredibly interesting. There's some parts of it that I wasn't a fan of, just in terms of the pacing, in terms of some of the characters' actions, but that's very, very subjective. So yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it though. It was an interesting read. It was an interesting read, and I really like uh, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie's writing style, and maybe I will pick up another one of her books. Alright, what else did I read? Oh yeah, right after that, I was feeling kind of a wee bit depressed. So I read, I read the book that, um... <sighs> I read that. I'm the sweetest chef. Oi, did oi, did oi. No. I read um, Romancing Mr. Bridgerton by Julia Quinn, which is a Regency era romance. It was a, quite a different style than <laughs> Americana, obviously. Romancing Mr. Bridgerton is part of the Bridgerton series. It's Regency era romance. I read it through the Oyster app, which I love, and I should do a video about that. I loved it. I mean, it's great. It was such an easy, quick read. I read it in a day, and I was like, whoa, this is great and wonderful, and I didn't have to think about this, and it was, it was tray fun. It was a lot of fun. After that, I read The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. The lovely Brie over at Brie May um, is reading this, or currently just finished it or something, and I've had this book forever, and so I finally decided to pick it up. I have a really beautiful, minutiful, statutiful copy of it that I got at the store forever ago in Indiana, weirdly. But I really enjoyed this also. Um, I've never seen the movie, i had never read the book, and I loved it. Everybody knows what this book is about. Um, I really loved Lyra, or Lyra, Lyra, is her name Lyra? The main character. She was really kick-ass. The, the story was really kick-ass. The world was really cool and interesting. I really enjoyed it. What else did I read? Okay. I read- Okay. I feel like I'm missing books. Is this all I read this month? Maybe it is all I read this month. I don't know. Okay. Next I read a book that no one has ever heard of, or maybe they have, but it hasn't been talked about in booktube at all. That's City of Dark Magic by Magnus Flight. This book, um, I got forever ago at Books a Million for like three dollars. It follows a musicologist graduate student, someone who studies music, specifically Beethoven, as she goes to Prague for the summer to work on archives for the super rich, super royal family. And I have a thing for books set in Prague, so yes please, by Amy Poehler. Anyway, that joke will never get old. So she ends up, um, going there and some creepy, shady stuff starts to happen. People keep being murdered or, or killing themselves or what, and she doesn't know. 
and um, with the help of a dashing young prince and some weirdo scholars, um, they unravel the mysteries behind this creepy city and behind all these weird things that are happening. And it's a really fun read, it's very exciting, it's very quick, I read it in like three days and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was just a really fun read and I enjoyed it. It was definitely a three star book for me because I enjoyed it but it didn't like blow my mind. Um, also, it was written by two ladies, which I like, because the pseudonym is Magnus Flight, which I think is cool. But yeah, I really enjoyed this, and there was a lot of history in it, in Prague, so. Um, what else? What else? What else? I am... Is that really all I've... I feel like I've finished something else recently. Man, that'd be bad if I haven't, and I just, like, it did not stick in my mind. I guess I haven't. I'm currently reading Rune and Rising by Lee Bardugo, which is a book that I wanted to read forever, obviously. I really like the series. It's really interesting. It's part of the Grisha trilogy. It's it's really yeah it's really interesting and I, I enjoy it so yeah I'm about probably almost halfway through I went at the dentist today and I am enjoying it it is a very fun read I like it I like it a lot okay what else oh yes my TBR okay I don't have a ton of books on my TBR these are just sort of maybes because I don't stick to TBRs ever <laughs> that's the truth my mood will change and and I won't want to read these but these are just the ones that I'm gonna try to read for various reasons I really want to read All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dover. Everyone and their mother has read this book. Not my mother, though. So, um, yeah, I want to read this. It sounds really interesting, and I don't really want to know a lot about it because I like to go thing into things blind. Isn't there a blind girl in this book? Oh, God, that was... Okay, obviously that's not true. Also, I want to finish Vicious, which I started in February but did not finish. It really wasn't, like, I wasn't loving it. I liked it, but I wasn't, like, keeping me interested, so I ended up moving on and reading The Golden Compass, but I do want to finish it because it was really interesting and I was enjoying it, so I also want to read A Darker Shade of Magic and I don't know if I'm going to like it or like V.E. Schwab, v. E. Schwab's writing style until I think I finish, finish, finish Vicious. Oh my golly molly Moses. This is bad. You're going to be like, she's making offensive jokes and not on purpose and she's just crazy and everybody's going to dislike this, so I'm sorry guys. Next I'm going to read The Death by Cody Keplinger. I've had this book for years. The movie just came out. I want to give it a go. I want to give it a go. It's very short. Maybe I'll read it after I finish reading All the Light We Cannot See because it'll be very easy. And then finally a book that I want to read throughout the month is One More Thing by B.J. Novak. I've also had this book for a while. I love B.J. Novak. He's a beautiful, handsome man. And I don't know. I think it'll be funny. And I love, love, love the book trailer because Mindy Kaling's in it and I love Mindy Kaling. So yes, that is that. Okay, time for my book haul. This video will not end, says everyone. Um, books I've gotten this month. I've gotten a few, mostly from thrift stores. I got this for 50 cents at a thrift store. Yeah, 50 whole cents for Black Hole by Charles Burns. This is a graphic novel I know nothing about, but I'd heard of it. So, and I think it's like murdery. I don't really know, but we'll see. We'll see. I also have this book just because it's really for the I don't know. I don't know why I got it. It's Douglas Copeland's uh, Microsurfs. I've heard of Douglas Copeland. I don't know where. I think maybe Ron Litt. But this book is about tech people in the 90s, specifically at Microsoft. It sounds kind of office spacey, and it, I don't even know. It just sounds like it'll. I'll either get it or I will not get it at all. So it should be interesting. Um, I also got The English Patient by Michael Owen Dachi. I said that wrong. I definitely did. Yeah. I've always wanted to read this. Um, the cover is meh, but you know, we'll give it a go. Um, I got uh, two finished two middle grade series, which is, which is, which is, I, which is, no. I got the sequels to The Golden Compass, The Subtle Knife, which is downstairs, and I don't feel like getting it, and The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman. I know these covers are hideous. What is with children's books and cats? I love cats, but I also got the sequels to The Mysterious Bandit Society by Trent Lee Stewart. The Mysterious Bad Exciting, The Prisoner's Dilemma, and the other one, which is in my shelf, but I'm too lazy to find. Oh, it's right here. Mysterious Bad Society and The Parallel's Journey. So, yay! Book hauls and fun! So, what are you reading? What have you read? What are you book hauling? What are you feeling? What is life? What is meaning? What is... What is... The end of the Tootsie Pop? That went nowhere. If you haven't seen some of my recent videos, check out my Jeff Goldblum tag. It made me giggle, so that's all I really care about. Um, yeah. Anyway, have a wonderful day.